talking about heat preparation, playing in India, playing in Brisbane, very hot, humid conditions. Do you do anything to prepare for that and does it hurt you? Yeah, they're, they're, they're daunting conditions to play in. Um, Brisbane with the humidity and the heat there, um, you know you're always a chance of, or a risk of getting cramped there and, and, and not feeling quite right. So, and, and losing that bit of concentration uh, that you need all day uh, for five to five days. Um, so the preparation before that, days leading in, um, generally I'll try and uh, not do too much uh, apart from my training outside of that, uh, that's too active or physical. Um, you know, just take it easy, um, make sure I get my fluids in, my, my, my power aids or my waters, whatever I need to, to make sure that I'm right for day one and then continue that throughout the test match. So that's really good preparation, being professional, getting ready to go in with a full tank of gas. But what about in your training? Do you do any heat training with heat suits or in the heat of the day? Anything to really get yourself ready for that, for that heat? I think it's more just getting out in the middle. Um, we, we get the opportunity to, to, to play, uh, to, to practice in the middle at the at the Gabba. So, middle of the day, uh, make make yourself get out there and do extra. Um, I think that's probably key. Is um, once you've finished your bowling, don't just go under the under the sheds and relax. Go out in the middle and, and take a bit of that heat in and get used to it and get the feel for it. And that's right. It takes up to ten days or ten training sessions to get heat ready. So your body will adapt to it. It's called acclimatization. You want to spread that out over about a three week period, but gradually build in to training in the heat. You can do that perfectly in, at the Gabba in the middle of the day because it's very hot. But if you're in a cold climate, you can wear your heat suits, get rugged up in your tracksuit and beanies and get into it. And that's the way you can build your heat training into it.